Hi guys, it's me Vasiliki and in this video we are going to be organizing my entire makeup collection. This is gonna be a series of videos because I want to reorganize everything and at the end I'm also gonna be doing a declutter. I have never done a declutter before so wish me luck. A lot of you wanted to see a video about my makeup collection so I hope that you like this one. I'm also gonna be showing you some ideas how to organize your makeup drawer and share this video with a friend that likes makeup collection videos and also subscribe for more makeup reviews and tutorials so first of all i want to show you what's going on with my makeup organization now there are pretty much makeup everywhere in the house you can see here the furniture that i always have behind me in my makeup videos last year i also posted a video for my makeup collection so you can see how it was in 2020 in this box i have a lot of disappointing products that i haven't done a video about for example this eye cream was the devil on my eyes i don't recommend it these are boxes from the glossy box i kept them so i could use them to divide my makeup and organize everything in the next one i have new makeup products i got some charlotte tilbury products that were on sale and then we have a box with a lot of products from advent calendars some of them are from the pretty little thing advent calendar we had some lashes and also this Morphe sponge. This is the lid of one glossy box box and I have here a lot of my favorites. Also some lipsticks that I want to use in a video. And these are some concealer empties that I just kept to remind myself that I need to buy new ones. Those are some of my favorite drugstore concealers. In the corner I have these Alex drawers from Ikea and in here I have only drugstore products that I'm going to transfer in new drawers. I actually wanted to get the same Alex drawer unit, however it's not available anymore. I could find it only in dark blue and then that one was also sold out. So I ended up getting the Malm unit with six drawers. You can see here my husband in the process of putting together the drawer unit. I decided to go with bigger drawers this time because my makeup collection is getting bigger. I'm also gonna be doing a declutter video as I have said before. And ta-da! It's ready! Here I'm cleaning a little bit, my skin is very sensitive and I can't tolerate dust on any surface in the house so I'm trying to keep everything as clean as possible. It is also spring allergy season and there is a lot of pollen from the trees. On the top of the drawers my husband is placing his Pokemon cards collection. He also has a TikTok account that he is unboxing Pokemon trading cards if you want to follow him. I also have a TikTok account, it is at Vasilikis Beauty Tips. I'm posting some funny videos there as well. So I brought here the first makeup products. I want to start organizing the foundations first. And I have no clue how to do that. And you can see me here moving the boxes in the drawer and trying to figure out the best way to organize them. I'm separating the drugstore and the high-end foundations. I don't have so many high-end products. I love testing out drugstore products. It is just so exciting to find something affordable and also amazing. So you can see the high-end box just has Two foundations for now, this one is by Holka Holka and is a very nice tinted moisturizer. The packaging is super cute. Here you can see some of my least favorite foundations and also a liquid highlighter. Why is this here? I'm gonna have in the description box my top 8 best drugstore foundations. I'm also gonna be doing an updated version of that video and maybe for concealers as well. I don't have a video for my favorite drugs or concealers, I don't know why. And this is another box that I kept, it was a gift set by the body shop. This is the perfect one for all of my color correcting products. When I see a box, I just don't want to throw it away. I'm just trying to find a way to use it again. And these are by Catrice. I also have some by Maybelline. These are darkening makeup drops by Essence and Catrice. You can use them to darken up your foundation. 
for example if you got a little bit of tan and you don't want to buy a new foundation and you can also find lightening makeup drops to lighten up your foundation i found some more high-end foundations by mac Tarte and Benefit and then I placed the little box in the high-end foundation one to save some space. Now it's time to organize some concealers. The majority of them are again drugstore products. We still have here some color correctors. They need to go to the other box. Those were by Catrice. I'm not sure if you can still find them though. I didn't really like the concealer palette by Essence. It was like enough pigmentation and most likely I'm gonna declutter it. And then I'm just trying to place everything flat on the surface so I can see all of the products. Next products to get organized are the setting powders. This is actually a pressed powder by MAC. I really like it. I'm gonna sort out all the pressed powders and have them in another box. And here I'm also separating the drugstore and high-end setting powders to see what I have exactly. This banana powder by Bella Pierre is making the skin super flaky. I don't recommend it. I prefer the translucent powder that they have. This one is by Laura Mercier. I love it. This is a very nice highlighter by W7. I have tried some products by this brand and they are actually good. So I have a question for you. Do you set your face makeup with powder? I always set my foundation and concealer. I feel that if I don't do that, I will have makeup all over my clothes and my hair. I know some people set only their concealer to have a more radiant complexion, but I don't think this can work for me. So when I want my skin to look more glowy, I just use a moisturizing primer before foundation. Here I'm placing all of the loose setting powders back into the box and they're not staying in place. Those are drugstore and high-end products together. So the powders kept rolling in the box and I decided to finally stack them. I think it's the best solution for now. If you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. I never had that many products before and I just didn't have a lot of ideas how to organize everything. My goal is to do more decluttering every few months because I don't want to buy another drawer unit. I think this amount of makeup products is enough for me to do makeup reviews and to be able to recommend you makeup products from different brands. And the box is almost full but I can still see what I have. I will definitely declutter some of these powders. So this little box is from a Clinique gift set. I really like their skincare, especially the Eye Rich Eye Cream. Their products are a little bit pricey and I'm trying to find more affordable dupes. And in here I'm placing the pressed powders, the drugstore and the high-end ones. We have the rolling problem again, but I like that this box is not full of products to be honest. It's time for primers and some setting sprays. I'm not a huge fan of setting sprays, so you will not see a lot of them. The bigger box contains the drugstore products. I really like testing primers. It's so easy to change the finish of your foundation with them. You can also combine them and add, for example, a mattifying primer on the cheeks to cover any enlarged pores and a moisturizing one on the cheekbones to give that healthy glow. And this one is the Set and Glow Fixing Spray by Essence. It was from the Trend Edition into the Snow Glow. I haven't used it that much, so most likely I'm going to get rid of it. So this is by Catrice. I remember I didn't like it so much. Every time that I'm testing a setting spray, I don't see that it's doing something for the longevity of my face makeup. So I can't justify the use of it. Let me know what are your thoughts about them. Do you like setting sprays? So here I'm taking out any products that are not primers or setting sprays. Now I'm starting the project, clean all the primers. I don't remember ever cleaning these to be honest. I had them in a different drawer and they were not getting any dust. This is a Catrice primer that I bought a while ago but I have never tried it or even done a video about it because the scent of it is so artificial, so chemical and so strong that I just don't want to use it on my face. I'm certain that it's gonna irritate it so it's a no for me. 
The reason that the box looks so dirty is because of one primer. The packaging of it is shedding everywhere. Now it's clean, finally. And here I'm placing back all the primers first. Let me know in the comments if you would like to watch some monthly makeup bean videos with products that I'm gonna be using for that month. It is also called Shop My Stash, which means that I'm gonna use specific products that I already have in my collection for a month and then I'm gonna update you about them. Do you like this type of video? Let me know. And this is the bad one that is making everything dirty. I really like this Catrice primer, but the packaging is terrible. Maybe I can coat it with clear nail polish so I can stop the shedding. I'm not very sure if that's gonna work. On the other side, I'm putting the drugstore setting sprays. I prefer using them as primers. Usually they give a very nice natural glow to the skin. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a box from a gift that my mother-in-law gave me a couple of years ago for my birthday. It was a beautiful purse in red. Actually, this is one of the colors that I don't wear a lot. I just don't feel confident in red colors. And here you can see that I can't decide where to place the high-end setting sprays. I don't have that many high-end primers, so I'm able to place them all horizontally in the box. And this is how everything is looking. And now it is a lot easier for me to find products that I want to use in my videos and for any makeup look. The next part is coming this week. You can watch next this video here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!